Well, hello guys. Um, today we're going to make a seafood pizza. There's all the stuff I will be using. Um, we went fishing last time the other day. Remember down Parsons Beach? We caught some salmon trout. They were cry packed and frozen. We caught some Tommy Ruffs. More Tommy Ruffs. Nice looking little fish, aren't they? So I'm going to smoke, smoke them. So we're gonna have salmon trout on pizza. Smoked Tommy Ruff. I bought five king prawns. That will be enough. There's a squid, what I caught. That's a beauty. Lovely, hey. I've got some of them delicious Boston Bay mussels. I got some um, tomato pizza sauce. Some some people use the white sauce with whatever stuff in it, but I'm really happy with the that's what I use and it tastes good. I got some garlic, some chili. I've got some mozzarella cheese. I got some a bit of Parmesan cheese. And I normally use these wraps for my pizzas. They're really nice because I am one of them poor souls who suffers indigestion. So I don't like too much dough or pastry. But anyway, today I'm going to try this one. So I don't normally use this, so I'm going to make... My daughter did a pizza with this and it was really nice. So that's what I'm going to do today. So okay, for starters, I'm going to brine this for about three hours and I'm gonna roughly dry it and then get it smoked and we will begin. All right, stay tuned guys. Right, preparation, peel prawns. and remove the vein with a skewer. There we go. Vein out. You can check the tail, but that's gone. Okay, and I'll just do all these the same way. Right, they're all done, now all I'm gonna do is like, chop them in half so they'll go a little bit further all around the pizza. Just split them right down the middle there, don't have to be perfect. And I'll just cut them in half again. There you go, prawn all in bits. Now for the mussels, we'll just open up this bag. I'll so all the juices stay in there. I'll just cut it at the top and open it up like this. Be easy to get them out. There we go. There's the mussels all pre-cooked. Now all we do is open them up and there it is, yum. Beautiful little mussel now. When you get these, they've still got the beards in them. See that little hairy bit? You gotta remove that. Okay, so I'll do that with all of these mussels. Put them on the saucer. There you go, all the mussels are done. Okay, now I've got a bowl here with a bit of chilli and one clove of chopped garlic. Now what I'm going to do is just... I don't know, I'll put half of these in there. Half of them in there with that. And all my bits of prawn in there. And I'll just... Stir it all up. A spoon is a bit better. Okay, here is my pre cleaned vacuum sealed squid. Right, all I'll do with this is, you know, just chop it up into pieces to go on my pizza. Too easy. Job done. Squid is prepared. 
So I think I'll put some of that in with my chili and garlic as well. Not all of it, but some of it. Now for my fish. I think just one and a half fillets of this salmon trout might be enough. Oh no, I'll put two on. Okay, and now I'll chop this into pieces. Delicious, I love salmon trout. Fish done. Right, so I've got that done. Check out that for a mariner mix I've made. I ended up putting everything in here, why not? There you go, homemade mariner mix. Beautiful. So now all I'm waiting for is my smoked Tommy. Delicious. Oh yum. Fish is done. Well look at that guys, that's them little Tommy ruffs I kept from the beach. They look delicious don't they? Hey, well worth the effort bringing a few of them home for the smoker for my pizza. So now we're up to putting the pizza together. That's, oh, there's me dough. That's the first ever pizza dough I've ever made. And it's risen heaps. It's actually risen that much. I've got too much there. So the wife is going half. She's going to make her own pizza. And I'm going to make my seafood pizza. Well, here she is. I got it out okay. I reckon... I've got a bit of flour on the bit. I've never done this, like I said. If you don't want to do this sort of thing, you can easily buy them pizza bases. This is actually quite good fun. It was pretty messy when I started doing it. It was like glue. But no, this is looking pretty good, actually. It's, it's not bad at all. Now well, let's roll it. Feels really soft, actually. I'm not going to throw it in the air and spin it like the experts do. It'll probably end up on the roof or the floor. One family sized seafood pizza. There you go. That's out of that box, what I showed you. Still got that much flour left in that bag. And there's another sachet in there with the yeast, what it comes with. I'm happy with that. Like I said, it's pretty sticky at the start, but it worked out. I've had to phone up the daughter for some advice. Oh, look at that, flipped over good. Yum. Okay, now the fun part. Firstly, my um, tomato paste, or tomato, whatever you want to call it, pizza sauce. It's got garlic, onion, and herb in there. Like I said, some people use the white sauce for seafood, but I've had it like this before and it's yummy. Right, so let's whack that on. That's about the size of a regular size what you buy. So I'll put the whole lot on there, I reckon. She'll be right. Mm -mm -mm. Lovely. There's that. Done. Okay. Got my cheese, my mozzarella. She goes. I think that'll do that. Now I'll put some fish on there. I'll just put on there as evenly as I can, I guess. That was about right, then two small fillets. That's fine. Now I've got me mariner mix and I'll. I'll just spread that out as much as I can. There's going to be a lot of seafood on here. But hey, that's okay. My hands are clean. Let's just... plop it around the place. 
Oh, I might not put that last bit of calamari. There's not much in this, but I'll just leave that bit out. Now I've got a little. I'll put a little bit of smoked fish on there. Not too much, just for the added taste. Okay, I think that'll do with a bit of smoked fish, just a little bit of an extra. I can eat that another day or tomorrow. Now I'm going to put a little bit of this parmesan. I always call it parmesan, but it's parmesan. For the people like myself who can't pronounce it properly. I'm just going to put a, not up too much, just a bit. Get a bit more of my cheese. That'll do, won't it? Yes. Thank you. Two more things to go. A little bit of cherry tomato. A little bit of decoration. And I know you're gonna go, that's weird, but I love a little bit of barbecue sauce on my pizza. Just a little bit. There you have it. Let's get that. I gotta wait till the wife makes hers. We'll get it in the oven. And then I'll eat some of it in front of you. Okay. See you when it's ready, which will be like two seconds for you guys. Well, there she is guys. Oh dear. Hey, that doesn't look too bad at all. That looks delicious. Let's get it off this tray. Let's hopefully it comes off. Oh yeah, she's all loose. How is that? Right, let's just slide her off there. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Well, I'm pretty pleased with that. First ever pastry I've made. Well, pizza base I've made, and it's gotta be better than I bought one. Now let's cut it up. So, we'll just let it cool off a bit, then I'll tease you. I'll give you a look first. Um, hmm. Okay, let's do this. I'm, it still feels pretty warm actually. But, oh, wow. Here we go. I would be lying if I didn't say that is delicious. That, the squid is tender as any squid I've ever had. Um, that bit of smoked Tommy Ruff or Australian herring, what I put on there just tastes beautiful. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. That was in the oven for 22 minutes. Honestly, this is wonderful. You know, we, we live in this beautiful country of ours and you know, the, the sky's the limit to what you can put on one of these pizzas. And hey, if you haven't got the stuff I have, you can go to a <laughs> seafood shop, fishmonger, and get yourself some good quality um, marina mix, or marina mix, and you can make your own seafood pizza out of that. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Thank you for watching, and yeah, 
Go and make yourself a seafood pizza. Absolutely delicious. Yum. Mmm. And I'll have a beer with it while the pizza goes round and round. See you guys. Enjoy when you make it. Mm.